So today what we are going to be doing is going over low and high pass filters. So low pass filters and high pass filters, what are they and how do you apply them? If you stay through the whole video, you will know everything there is to know about using the low pass filter and using the high pass filter. So the low pass filter is going to allow all the lower frequencies to go through. It's going to sound a little bit like this. So the high frequency filters are going to allow you to bring in all the higher frequencies through and it's going to sound a little bit like this. Low pass. High pass. Low pass. So first thing you want to do is go to the effects tab, find low pass, apply it to our audio clip, go into effects controls, and we're going to adjust our cutoff. Typically what you would want is around 500 to get that kind of drowned out sound. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to get that perspective of being outside of the club. And then once we get in the club, then you got that normal sound of the music. So that's what we're doing here in this clip. So why don't we go step outside and join this guy outside for a sick Yeah, that guy right there smoking a cigarette. And you know... I think the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go old school with the radio sound. And yeah, we want to get that, that, that high pass filter. It kind of changes your voice like this. I mean, to accomplish this is really easy. All you really have to do is same thing with the low pass is you go to the effects tab and then you're going to go type in high pass. You're gonna apply it to the track. Suppose that. So the next thing that we are going to go over is how to accomplish the same thing, but instead of applying it straight to the the audio clip, we're going to apply it to the track. What you want to do is you want to separate your track. So all the things that you want to have a, a higher pass in. Put it all on one track and everything you want on a lower pass put that all on one track so let's open up the audio track mixer not the clip mixer but the track mixer right now we have audio one as our low pass so we're going to go back into the track mixer right here and we're going to apply the low pass effect so let's extend out Gonna hit that right arrow, go to filters, and then low pass. And now it's applied. And all we have to do is go down to the bottom where the dial is and we can adjust our frequency right there. So I'm gonna take that down. So now we're just going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it to track number two. Search here for that high pass, apply it. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, you should consider subscribing or liking or just shutting the fuck up.